Since he was called to the Nigerian bar in July 1976, Walo Lani has had a long, varied career. He started as a junior counsel in the chambers of Akambi, Oyinyongi and Co. in Inloring before setting up the law firm Walo Lani and Co. He became a notary public in 1987 and attained the rank of senior advocate of Nigeria in July 1991. After confirming as a son, he was appointed as Attorney General and Commissioner of Justice of the Old Ondo State in January 1992, a position he occupied until November 1993. He joined the body of benches as a statutory member in 1992 and was elected the 20th President of the NBA at Zibada in August 2002. His administration was instrumental to the main flagship section of the MBA, which is a section of business law and on legal practice. He became a life bencher in 2007. Waldo Lanikbeko assumed office as the 50th chairman of the body of benchers on 30th March 2022. The body of benchers is the legal body of practitioners of the highest distinction in the legal profession, which is responsible for the formal call to bar of persons seeking to become legal practitioners as well as disciplining of erring lawyers. The chairman's tenure is traditionally for one year and during the period he sway as a chairman, he was able to redefine, redirect, reorganize and reorientate the affairs of the body of benches through his pragmatic leadership qualities. The period was also characterized by clear court achievements including the final commission of the body of benches complex. Today, Wando Alani Bekun, senior advocate of Nigeria, takes a bar as a chairman of the body of benchers. To celebrate his success, a dinner was held at the Halimatu Abdullahi Turaki Banquet Hall. Top dignitaries from the Nigerian justice system graced the occasion. The government of Bikit State was also present. The event started off with an address by the incoming chairman of the body of benchers, Justice Mary Peter Odili. She noted that the aims and objectives of a legal body should be tailored around the core of the legal profession. There are many others, but time was not allowed for me to pick them on each and every one of you. And in gratitude for you to have come to honor Chief Warnin and Manny Dunn with hope. A man deserving of world honor. A man who got his teeth in the battle and has transcended every part of it and is now living as chairman at the body of The Chief Justice of Nigeria led other guests in lauding Mr. Manik for his immense contribution to the Nigerian jurisprudence. Great men like the Manik Pekun, CFRSCN, naturally have their tentacles spread across the arts of unimaginable generations of beneficiaries of his magnanimous disposition. To that effect, I want to use this opportunity, really, to enjoin all of us to always be mindful of the fact that there is a tie in the affairs of men. The works of our hands shall always rise, staff made testimony on our behalf when we are gone. What thing is Alani Gregory? You have to see it. But it's washed the clean. You have to go to wash the men. And others is in the thing for me. So I know much things for which more than I have things that I can bet up. So I want to bet things at all. That is what the the man is so wrong. Are you still feeling it with time or with that thing? And I want to say with all humility that the two years we had at the leadership of the Nigerian Bar Association, they were created by ideas that were put in place and that had changed the face of the Bar Association of today. A melodious performance by Timmy Tatulu and a dance trip also added glamour to the occasion. I'm 
It was now time for the celebrator to cut his cake after which he was given an award and a medal for the job he had done. This Canada, one of the south, is the sunset of one of the best sisters, one of the best jobs ever have got. The governor of Ekiti State highlighted Mr. Lani Bekun's contributions to the development of Ekiti State and the country at large. Building the body of nature is not a, it's not a small uh, achievement. And, uh, it's an honor done to him and by extension to Ekiti State. I, we are proud of him. He's one of our most distinguished indigenous. Uh, she uh, epitomizes the finest virtue of an editing man, of honor, of courage, of character, of rigor, of loyalty, and of compassion. The celebrant expressed how grateful he is to have finished his tenure well. He frowns at the few coming from international government due to their dissatisfaction with the conduct of the 2023 presidential election. Adventures attest to this. And I thank God for the enablement. I thought God because within the past year has made me, me God has made me to remain very focused, to be so concentrated. I had an assignment before me. I had a vision and I knew and I convinced that I have a vision. And have we accomplished the mission, the lawyers will say, rest ipsa loquito. We just thank God for, whenever there is any election, anywhere in the world, there is bound to be disagreement. But if for every disagreement, you say, look, let us disband the, the, the system. You can't throw away the baby with the bathwater. It's never done. Two and a half or three years ago in America, you know what happened, even before then. As between Nixon and the Kennedy, you know what happened. You know what they call the Mexico influence. You know what happened then. Nixon said, look, let us stop there. He halted himself. He restrained himself. People were saying, go to court. He said, I will not go to court because I respect that institution. This time around, people are going to court. That is a civilized state of The law is there. Let them exploit the opportunities provided by the Constitution, by the statute. For some, for some people to sit down somewhere, to say, OK, let us let there be interim national government. I, as a lawyer, I don't know the jurisprudence that we accommodate it. Chief Wolo Manikbeko is a respected Eda statesman, a renowned national interventionist, a towering intellectual, a prolific writer, and an advocate extraordinary. Mm -hmm.